Join us as we dive into the world of building intelligent apps with AI and highlight learning resources that can help you develop the technical skills to bring these solutions to life. Welcome back to the Azure Essential Show. I'm your host, Aaron Stark, and I'm joined here today by my colleague, Joshua Wang from Azure Marketing. Today, we're going to be talking about building intelligent apps. I know we've covered this topic beforehand, but that was building apps with Python. This time, it's going to be all about applications and unlocking the value of AI with intelligent apps. Joshua, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Uh, glad to have you here. So let's start with some definitions. When you say intelligent apps, what exactly do you mean by that? There are three characteristics that define intelligent app. Number one is data. This is where intelligence comes from. This can be your internal data sets, for instance, your customer telemetries or your financials. It can also be external signals. This will be weather data, can be international trade flow. Number two is AI. You can get AI models through the API from external sources, or you build your own AI models. And AI models are basically machines that help you analyze, learn, extract, and surface features from the data you have. And number three is you package AI and data into a user-centric format, which is an application. Got it. And in this evolving space of intelligent apps powered by AI, what are we seeing today with our customers? What we are increasingly seeing is as enterprise adopt AI, when they invest into AI, typically they go to market when they ship something, that's through the app layer. And this is incredibly exciting because we are now investing even more into the space of AI plus apps. But on the other hand, we are embracing a multitude of new challenges. I mean, I can only imagine. But before we jump into all those challenges, what are some of the most important use cases that, are, that you're actually seeing for the AI apps? There are definitely some old-fashioned machine learning use cases. We are seeing people using AI to do, uh, for instance, personalization, uh, content intelligence. There are also the unsupervised machine learning, for instance, anomaly detections. But even more so, we are seeing customers coming to us, work with Azure to build their own co-pilots. This is where they can really maximize value from uh, a large language model within their environment. Now, that's super exciting. I know Copilot has been all the buzz recently. Uh, but now let's get into those challenges that customers are facing. How does Azure go and support customers in these situations? Very good question. We are actually right now squarely focused on two areas that we know are customer pain points. Number one is organizations are realizing there's a gap in skilled AI developers. Number two being, we believe critically, modernization is an element that cannot be skipped. You need to modernize your existing data and app estate before you can truly and concretely unlock value from AI. Definitely agree. I know that we've been hearing a lot of that recently. But I do want to focus on the number one um, a challenge that you had mentioned around skilled workers. What is Azure doing, if anything, to address this? Three things, precisely. Number one being how we organize learning content. There is likely an ocean of learning content about AI how we can organize it in such a way that the learners find it interesting and we're willing to use it and they can actually find it when they need it. And we also want to make sure there are learning content throughout their journey with Azure. Um, the second bit is we want to make sure that the learning experience is good. We know customers are entrusting hundreds of hours with us learning about our services. We want to make sure that those learning experiences are interactive, immersive, and there are mm -hmm. options for them to connect with each other uh, during their learning process. And lastly, is to make sure that the content is refreshed and that the certifications make sense to them. Uh, and speaking of Azure skilling and certifications, loyal viewers will know that that has been all the rage recently with all of the new plans on Learn that we've uh, been talking about in previous episodes. But for those who are looking to sharpen their skills and start building AI apps, is there something for them that exists with plans on Learn? Absolutely. So I bring three uh, plans on learn with me today. These represent the latest and the best curation of learning content on the topic of AI apps. So number one is a uh, plan designed for technical managers that gives you an overview of the portfolio of services you should consider and the best practices to get started for your team. Number two is for developers, especially developers who are starting their journey building AI apps. And lastly, we have a more advanced version of that, uh, also for developers who are truly going to use the most latest AI services on Azure and then make their apps intelligent. Perfect. Thank you so much for coming on the show today and sharing all these incredible resources. Super fun joining today. And you can find all the links to everything that we discussed in the episode description below. If you have any comments or thoughts, please leave them down below as well. We love to hear from you. 
If you found this episode helpful, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future episodes. Thanks for watching the Azure Essential Show.